hi guys in this wonderful video i'm going to be showing you guys how to download the zoom app and also use the zoom app to make calls i'm going to show you guys all the whole secret so come into your browser and click a uh, app store or google play store depending on the device you are using once you click on it come to the search bar click on search and type in zoom so this zoom is an application whereby you can use it to organize meeting so this is the zoom call app here I have downloaded on my system already that's why it's telling me to update it's what you can use to make calls like host meetings as you can see here with people clients or uh, perspectives that want to do business with you or whichever call it can be for family and friends as well so you can use this app this wonderful app to make meetings arrange meetings it's just a simple uh, concept whereby you send the person you want to arrange the meet with send them uh, a link once they uh, put the link in their zoom app you can be able to link up and make calls and you can also share other documents using this app so let me quickly update this app you can share updates using this app and get as much as you can so update okay the zoom application is done downloading just click on open so it's opened now so this is start a meeting you can join a meeting for instance if you are not ready registered on this wonderful platform i'll show you guys how to register and also start making a wonderful use of this but you can also start making use of this even without signing up in case someone wants to invite you using zoom all you have to do is download it just like i've showed you guys how to download it and come here and they say join a meeting click on join a meeting and you see where they say meeting id here you can put the missing meeting id or you can join with a personal link so they usually have a, something they call meeting id that you can add here once you add it here for it's a number so for instance this is the meeting id once i add it here i click on join and this is my name chido original that i want to use to be active so anybody that sees my name will see chido original and i can easily join it here so another way you can join is here they say join with a personal link name so you can come here and click join with a personal link name and here you select your personal link name as the case may be so after that just click on join and here are some other joining options that you might pay attention to don't connect to audio if you don't want anybody to be hearing your voice you just want to be active and be observant and be listening to what every other person is doing there you can check this on and uh the other option is turn off my video you can make your video off so that nobody can see your face or what you are doing so these are just the options that you can also check in case you have a uh, preference for that so after that just click on join but let me go back that's if you don't have an account with them already just want to join a meeting and make use of this wonderful platform called zoom so if you want to sign up come here that they said sign up and sign in you can sign in if you have an account already for this case i will say sign up so this is sign up they'll ask you for verification purposes you should confirm your date of birth so let me put uh, a random date of birth here so this is a random date of birth i want to use for the purpose of this tutorial so this is a random date of birth and of this one so after that click on confirm okay guys the next interface they will ask for your email address so put your email address real quick so for this i'll put you do original 247 at gmail.com 247 at gmail.com so this is my official email in case you want to contact me out there listen to the sound of my voice want to contact me for personal reasons you can hit me up at this wonderful uh, email chido original 247 at gmail.com so here i will put my first and last name so i'll use chido last name original but i encourage you guys to use your legit name here i'm using this for tutorial purposes so use your legal name here your first name legal name and your last legal name so after that click on sign up so they sent me an activation email at this email chido original 247 at gmail.com and once i received the email i'll confirm the email address so that's the okay guys i've gotten the email address so this is the email address welcome to zoom chido original 247 at gmail.com so here is the confirm or activate account so click on this button activate account and it will take me back to zoom whereby to activate the account so this is my first name last name and they'll ask me to put password and confirm password so let me use for the purpose of this tutorial okay so you have to confirm the password again
okay after that just check this if you want for educators select this option if you are signing up on behalf of a school or other organizations that provide educational services to children under the age of 18 so if this is you just check this for the purpose of this tutorial i'm not checking it so click on continue after that the next step is where they will prompt you to invite colleagues to join a meeting like you can add your email address here any colleague that you want to invite for a meeting just to add your, co your colleague's name first but you can skip this step you can add additional email in case you want as many as you want so you can skip this step let me skip it so here is where i will test a meeting my personal url is this so if i copy this url and send it share it to someone once someone clicks on it uh, they will be invited okay guys so once you have signed into the zoom ac account that i just created so this is the next interface that you are going to see so here you see new meeting you see join you see schedule you see share screen so let me show you guys if you want to share start a meeting with someone just come here on new meeting and click new meeting now here you see video on you can make sure the video is on you can see use, use per personal meeting id you can use this one it's optional so anyone that you want to use you can use it so after that click on start a meeting and here's where you can join a meeting like i showed you guys as well before i signed up in the zoom account so here you can put the meeting id and all that here you can schedule a meeting you can put the start date maybe i want to schedule a meeting ahead of time maybe in december 25th december whenever i want to schedule a meeting i can schedule it here and put the duration of the meeting the time zone uh repeat or calendar just some information that i need to schedule a meeting it's quite simple if you go through this it's quite simple here is the passcode which you can change you can enable waiting room you can do all that here you can use personal meeting id this is the personal meeting id uh whichever one you want to use personal meeting id shows that my instead of my name showing like chido original i'll use a personal meeting id it's more like a uh, more secretive kind of thing i don't want anybody to know me and all that so after that click on save and you have scheduled a meeting so once that time come you share the link to everybody once that time come they will uh prompt or invite those people to join the meeting they will alert them and once they join the meeting uh another interesting thing here is where you can share your screen this is the last option here you can share your screen as well so if i share my screen i just put the sharing key or the meeting id to zoom maybe i want to share my screen to my tv set or whichever projector or whatever i have i can easily share the screen here or share or uh, to show someone a document on my laptop or whichever we i want to share an additional screen i can use it to share it i can use it there to share the screen there so here is for the meeting and charts and if you come to the meetings you can see your upcoming meetings your start meetings you can send can send invitation send message copy to clipboard here is where you can edit so let me real quick here is your contacts your phone contacts and other contacts that you can also invite as well so here is your profile on the setting tab here you see your name you see your meetings here you can edit your settings for the meeting maybe you want to me always meet your audio here is your contact here is your chat setting here is your general settings here is your say short course and about so all these are quite simple the general is to blow snapshots on tax switcher this is the ringtone if you want to change the ringtone of the uh zoom in case someone wants to invite you on zoom call or they're calling your attention on zoom call you can change your ringing information here is say short course for those of you of you on ios here is the chatting options all messages you can receive notification for all messages or select private messages on red messages you can keep all on red messages on the top or you can make them to uh, be at the bottom here you can also uh view on red message in a channel so they have a whole lot of options here i don't want to make this video very long so this is the chat option the contact option and all that and you can see your information 
so that's it guys so i hope this cover this and it was helpful for you guys if you are new to the channel i basically teach you guys how to make money online and invest your money and from time to time i go into depth and teach people about things like this that i know will help them in future or in their business or whatever the case may be so subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn the bell notification and that being said guys i will see you guys on my next video